So it's very often the case that we have weight percent mineral compositions and we want to convert them to mole percent. So we start with weights for a couple of reasons. One, these are the easiest things to measure. For example, you might go out into the garage and you have some pure albite or pure anorthite and you want to mix them up. You're tired of looking at pure albite or pure anorthite and you want, let's say, an 80-20 uh, mixture by weight. So you'll weigh out, let's say, 80 grams of albite and 20 grams of anorthite. Well, what kind of composition would you have? How would you write out the composition? If we had pure albite, that would be NaAlSi3O8. And then if we had pure anorthite, that is CaAl2Si2O8. Well, if we weigh out 80 grams of one and 20 grams of another, uh, we can write a formula. Well, the way we express this is this would be uh, all bite 100 because it would be 100% all bite. This, if we use the same notation, would be all bite zero. It's not very clear what's absent because we can also have orthoclase. So we could also write this as AN100. But if we only have two components, then these two things are um, uh, simple enough or uh, are, are, are sufficient enough for expressing the composition. If we only have two components, we only have one or the other. All right, so let's take a look at how we would convert the weight percent minerals to a mole percent. So what would we have if we mix these two together? Well, we will start with albite. So albite has a molecular weight of 263.02 grams per mole. So if uh, we have 80% of that, then what we will do is we will take um, 80% or 0 0.8, that would be in grams, and divide it by 263.02 grams per mole. So that would be in grams. Here we're writing 80% as a fraction. You could use 80, it really wouldn't matter. You'll end up with the same proportions. Notice that grams will cancel and mole will end up on top. And so we'll have the total number of moles of all bite for a northite will play the same game. Anorthite has a molecular weight of 277.41 grams per mole. And so if we want the molecular proportion, not the weight proportion, but the molecular proportion, we'll take the weight, 0 0.2 grams or 20 grams. If you use, if you use uh, 0.8 here, you use 0.2 down here. If you use 80 up here, you use 20. The results will still come out exactly the same. You could try this at home to prove it to yourself. And we would take this and divide it by 277.41 grams per mole. Our weight here is given in grams. Grams will cancel and we'll end up with moles. And so if we do this calculation, then over here we'll get a very small number, 0 0.003042. And then this fellow for a northite will be 0 0.000721. A uh, small number, much smaller than this, of course, because we just have a, a tiny fraction of anorthite. So we'll take the sum of those two numbers. So let's add these two fellows together. And that sum will be the total number of moles. And those will add up to 0 0.003762. So that's the total number of moles in our system. Well, we want the percentages, so to get the mole percent of all bite, what we would do is simply take the number of moles of all bite, so that would be 0 0.003042, we'll divide it by the total number of moles, 0 0.003762. If we want a percent, this will be multiplied by 100, or we could leave it as a fraction, either way is good. As a percent, this would be 80.8. And again, that's mole percent, not weight percent. Then we could play the same game with anorthite. So anorthite would be the case where we take this value, uh, 0 0.000721, multiply that by 100 if we want a percent, and divide the whole thing by 0 0.003762. And that will give us... 19.2 uh, mole percent. And the way we would express this as we did with this kind of notation is that this particular mixture that we've created in our garage would be expressed as all bite 80.8 
And if there are only two components, then that would be equivalent to anorthite 19.2. These would be the same. Now, if you have an orthoclase component or other things dissolving in the structure, you might want to just write this out as AN 80.8, and then, oops, not all, not anorthite. That would be all by, and then AN 19.2. And if there's the possibility that the orthoclase might be in the structure, you can add that and just say there's a zero. We didn't have any orthoclase. Maybe we don't have any material like that in our garage. So when we cooked up this mixture, we just ended up with the zero total amount. So that's the way we convert mole, uh, weight percents to mole percents. Very important kind of calculation in geology.